Dear friends in Christ, we are on the fourth Sunday of Advent. It's almost Christmas. The crib is on, the gifts are ready and wrapped, the lights are lit, the stars are burning, but our hearts are they. Can we move from almost to the real Christmas? The call is to move from the externals to the heart of this event that is Jesus the Emmanuel. The readings of this Sunday are closer to the Christmas event and call us to open our hearts to God's plan. The three readings present to us three people King Ahas in the first, Saint Paul as Christ's apostle in the second, and Joseph in the gospel. We see how these three people respond to God's plan. The first reading is the story of King of Judah, Ahaz, refusing the plan of God that came to him through prophet Isaiah. Fearing the attack from his neighboring nations of Syria and Israel, Ahaz goes to align with the pagan country of Azaria. Prophet Isaiah stands against this alliance before King Ahaz and assuring that Yahweh will protect the kingdom of Judah. It is then that Ahaz says, denying Yahweh's intervention, I shall not put the Lord into test. And as a sign, Isaiah foretells the sign of the maiden who will bear a son. This could be an immediate sign that Ahaz would see in his kingdom and to the future, it is a reign of the Messiah. In the other two readings, the second and the gospel, we have unlike King Ahaz, examples of people who bow to God's plan. In the second reading of Paul to the Christians of Rome, he surrenders himself as a servant of Christ in complete obedience. The Gospel of today is from Saint Matthew. Matthew presents to us the incarnation event from Joseph's perspective, unlike that of Luke. Mary betrothed to Joseph, for the Jewish tradition was much more than an engagement of today. It was almost a marriage except living together. Hence, putting her away required very serious charges. And Joseph had it before him. She was found to be with child. Hence, adultery, and it was reason enough for Joseph to punish her under the Mosaic law of the time. But what he desires was contrary to what was legal and that makes Joseph so great in the event of the first Christmas. Let us imagine the scene. Joseph betrothed to this beautiful, God-fearing, simple girl called Mary. But to his surprise, she is not so before him. She is pregnant. This is cheating. Mary is not the one that he thought of till now. Joseph is sad and devastated. Imagine this for a moment. But in that utter sadness and emotional hurt, what does Joseph decide to do? He, thinking of her name and well-being, decides to put her away silently. What follows is a divine and compassionate act from the heap of his hurt and pain. That is because Joseph was, as the scripture says, a righteous man, meaning he had God within. Only if we have God within us can we act with true love and compassion, even when there is turmoil in and around us. Joseph stands of all praise and name in this regard. 
Look again. There were only two options open before Joseph. Either subject her to the punishment legal by the Mosaic law or put her away silently. But acting divinely, God opens to him a third option, the path of incarnation where the Holy Spirit is the agent. Though Joseph could still deny and reject her in spite of the assurance from the angel, he takes her to be his wife accepting the divine plan. It's when we surrender our plans and wills to the Lord that he opens to us his ways. And God's plans are the best always for us. Finally, I have always wondered at the scene of Joseph and the sequence of events that follow. Joseph is in doubt and only after he decides to act righteously does God intervene. Why not before? when he is in confusion. I think that is a divine mystery. God respects our freedom and he opens our eyes wider when we decide to do what he likes. Only when we commit ourselves to him can he act on us fully. That is where Joseph stands tall before God and before us in doing God's will. Let's turn the focus for a moment to our own lives. Aren't there life situations where I make my own plans and hurts to decide for me and others? If we want God to make his plans work in us, we need an act of surrender from within to his plans. Then he will let us fly on his wings. May we bow to him as we await the birth of the Emmanuel, God with us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.